The Tesla Gigafactory produces lithium-ion batteries, supporting Tesla vehicles and providing low-cost batteries using alternative energy sources. And in a recent video, CEO and founder Elon Musk was actually quoted as saying, we actually did the calculations to figure out what it would take to transition the whole world to sustainable energy. You'd need 100 gigafactories. In today's video, we are going to show you Elon Musk's plan to power the entire world with 100 Tesla gigafactories. Without further ado, let's begin. Leonardo DiCaprio met with Musk at the Gata factory this past year to discuss renewable resources and the future of energy as it relates to climate change. Leo is no stranger to discussions about alternative energy and climate change. In fact, he recently used his first Oscar acceptance speech as an opportunity to discuss the grave realities of our changing climate and warming planet. One main goal of the Gigafactory is to reach and maintain net zero energy. A leader in advancement and innovation, they claim that by 2018, the Gigafactory will reach full capacity and produce more lithium-ion batteries annually than were produced worldwide in 2013. The Gigafactory also aims to continue to drive down the price of these batteries, financially incentivizing the use of alternative energy sources. As Leo enters the factory, he is struck by the sleek efficiency, exclaiming, holy crap, that's a good robot. He and Musk continue on, with Musk emphasizing that the sooner we can take action, the less harm will result in regard to man-made climate change. As put simply by Musk in the video, the sun doesn't shine all the time, so you got to store it in a battery. And if we are able to shift more completely towards alternative and renewable energy sources, Musk claims that you could avoid building electricity plants at all. When some people think about alternative energy, they think of outdated bulky solar panels that lack efficiency and are a massive financial drain. However, alternative energy technology is far beyond that. As the realities of climate change set in, it is becoming more and more obvious that we cannot wait. We cannot go another 10 years using fossil fuels at the rate that we currently do and not experience the effects. Solar cells are more efficient than ever. In fact, inspired by photosynthesis, researchers recently combined the principles of quantum physics and biology to drastically improve current solar capabilities. Solar cells are no longer even necessary to capture solar energy, as scientists have created a synthetic leaf that does just that while converting carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide. There is no question, alternative energy is the future. We will not progress without it, and, as recent advancements have shown, it is becoming a more possible and powerful option with each passing day. If Musk is right, and these low-cost, green batteries could help to support a future where alternative energy is the majority, then his Gigafactory could be one of many steps in the right direction. We are now at 136 lithium-ion battery gigafactories, or megafactories, in other words, super-sized gigawatt-scale battery cell plants, in the pipeline out to 2029 in Benchmark Minerals Lithium-Ion Battery Megafactory Assessment. The proprietary data Benchmark Mineral Intelligence has been collecting since the day of Tesla's Gigafactory announcement is published each month in our Lithium-Ion Battery Megafactory Assessment the world's most extensive database of lithium-ion battery plants that forecasts out a decade. We are now well over Elon Musk's target of 100 gigafactories, but a question we get asked a lot at Benchmark is, if Elon is right, why are we still building battery plants? Here, Benchmark answers that question and mulls whether a Terra factory is the next logical step. If we have exceeded Elon Musk's 100 gigafactory targets, why are we still building battery plants? Elon Musk's target in the conversation with Leo DiCaprio was 100 gigafactories based on 35 gigawatts hour of lithium-ion battery cell production, equating to 3,500 gigawatts hour of battery capacity. Right now, Benchmark's total lithium-ion battery capacity in the pipeline is 2,491.7 gigawatts hour by 2029 assuming 100% of these megafactories come in stream and operate at 100% of capacity. Of course, these assumptions will not happen so more capacity will be needed to have enough supply of battery cells for the burgeoning electric vehicle and energy storage markets. 
The average size of an operational lithium-ion battery megafactory or gigafactory around the world today is 7.28 gigawatts hour per year. Yet this is figure growing. Benchmark forecasts the average capacity of these supersized battery plants to be 18.9 gigawatts hour in 2029, still some way short of Tesla's 37 gigawatts hour gigafactory one, which is operational today. Taking into account future failed projects and successful battery plants running at lower capacity utilization rates, the pipeline number will need to be at least 4,000 gigawatts hour or 4 terawatts hour to translate to 3,500 gigawatts hour of actual battery cell production. Do we need a terafactory? In theory, the potential market size for lithium-ion batteries in 10 years' time could accommodate four terafactories, and it is a trend that fits in with the rise of the battery megafactories theme we have seen since 2015. In five years, lithium-ion battery plants have grown an order of magnitude from 500 megawatts hour, 0.5 gigawatts hour. Plants geared to making cells for laptops and power tools to an average plant size of 7.89 gigawatts hour in 2019. The largest lithium-ion battery plant in the world is Tesla's Gigafactory, which had an operational capacity of 37 gigawatts hour in 2019 and is on track to reach 60 to 70 gigawatts hour capacity within the next three years, the next step in the orders of the magnitude scale. Therefore, the logical progression is to have at least one terawatt capacity battery plant or a terafactory. This would be classified as any single site battery cell facility over one terawatts hour or 1000 gigawatts hour of annual capacity. Of course, this capacity would far exceed any internal use for Tesla or any electric vehicle producer and would have to be supplying multiple domestic automotive OEMs and energy storage facilities to even come close to making sense. This also, of course, completely depends on the economics and logistics of such operations, but from a market demand perspective, it is justifiable. Ten years ago in 2010, onlookers would have looked at the Gigafactory with the same awe and doubt. A battery plant big enough to fit the entire world's production of batteries. Then 30 gigawatts hour, under one roof. The lithium-ion battery market has since grown 6.2 times to 187 gigawatts hour in 2019. Should Elon Musk aim to do the same thing again, put the entire lithium-ion battery industry under one roof in 10 years' time by 2030, then a terafactory project is an answer. 187 gigawatts hour by 6.2 equals 1,000. 159 gigawatts hour equals 1.15 terawatts hour. Back to the rest of the conversation with Leo DiCaprio, Elon Musk. So Tesla can't build 100 gigafactories. The thing that's really going to make the difference is if companies much bigger than Tesla do the same thing. If the big industrial companies in China, the US and Europe, the big car companies, if they also do this, then collectively, we can accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. And if the government sets the rules to favor sustainable energy, we can get there really quickly. Pretty much everything Elon Musk does is motivated, on some level, by his concern about climate change and the fossil fuels that most scientists believe are contributing to the problem. Tesla Motors, SolarCity, and even SpaceX and its wild plan to build a colony on Mars are all about either fighting or adapting to a changing climate. The billionaire CEO says Tesla's huge Jiga factory, under construction in Nevada, is a model for one way to transition the entire world to sustainable energy. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up for more interesting content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.